Abina Badu and husband Paul grow one of Ghana's most valuable commodities, cocoa. A few years ago they were too poor to employ staff, but since joining the Kwapa Kuku Farmers Cooperative, their lives have improved considerably. The union operates under the fair trade umbrella to ensure farmers get a fair price for their cocoa. Abina says she needs more money so she can look after her children and send them to school. Kwapa Kuku now has more than 40,000 members across Africa, but the farmers wanted more than just a fair trade deal, they wanted their own chocolate bar. Through their cooperative, they own a 45% stake in a British company called Divine. It launched its first fair trade chocolate bar into the UK confectionery market more than 10 years ago. Today, the brand can be found on the shelves of most British supermarkets, and the farmers benefit from the sale of the chocolate as well as their cocoa. Divine's managing director, Sophie Tranchell, has been campaigning for more companies to move to fair trade. In March, British confectioner Cadbury announced it would do just that by converting its biggest selling UK chocolate bar. It makes people really take it seriously and I think that together we can, we can really challenge the industry to say this is the least people should do. That isn't it inappropriate that in a country as, as rich as Britain that we shouldn't pay a, a decent amount of money for the raw ingredients that we buy to make products that are as fun as chocolate. The new Cadbury deal will double Copper Cuckoo's export of cocoa to the fair trade market and Tranchell hopes other chocolate makers will follow soon. These companies are hugely profitable institutions and that these farmers are some of the four, poorest people on the planet so that they're using the ingredients from these poor people and making enormous profits out of it. So I think that the idea that fair trade is the minimum they should, uh, should be required to do is absolutely achievable and that with Cadbury's joining us that's something that we can really put on the agenda. Divine say they've proved that consumers are happy to pay a little over the odds for fair trade chocolate. The extra doesn't amount to a whole hill of beans for many people. To Abina and Paul, it makes a world <laughs> of difference. Hayley Platt, Reuters.